Are you wondering when the housing market is eventually going to go down? Let me share with you my thoughts. Recently, we just had a significant increase in the housing market for the last two years, and that cycle's been going up for at least 12. And it's still growing. Why? I'm Munif Ali. I'm a self-made multimillionaire who started a YouTube channel for the sole purpose of sharing my life experiences to teach you how to become more successful. I became a millionaire in my mid-20s, and so I've got a lot of experience to share. So if you like this type of content, go ahead and hit that like button and that subscribe button all at the same time. In the past two years of the pandemic, we have seen an increase in the housing market. And until now, these prices continue to rise. An article from CNBC states that S&P CoreLogic 20 City Home Price Index went up 19.1%. That's a rare 32% rise within two years. But you may ask, why does it keep rising? Because it really doesn't make sense. As I said, this was even happening during the pandemic, and that's still a major reason for the recent increases. Ever since the pandemic started, it affected the chain of industries from supply, delivery, materials, causing disparity between supply and demand. The delay in shipping itself caused by COVID has delayed the opportunity to deliver materials that are needed to build homes. And not to mention, those materials have gone up in price. And when there's a delay in building houses, the supply remains low while keeping the demand high. And aside from the lack of materials, there's also a shortage of labor work. One article from Mark Strassman says that the industry needs 2 million construction workers in the next three years. And we're also experiencing the great resignation. A lot of workers have resigned from their jobs, causing that gap to increase. Last year, we had mortgage rates as low as 2.5%, and that's why a lot of people are in the market right now because the mortgage rate is starting to increase and there's a fear of missing out. You have people chasing the dream homes. Some are trying to make a profit from the current bull market, all thanks to relatively low interest rates. And as it starts to climb, more and more people are in a panic mode. But all this might change. Inflation rises, which means that mortgage rates should and could continue to keep rising. According to the Mortgage Bankers Association, mortgage applicants have decreased by 6.8% in the last week of March, and now mortgage rates are rising above five, and that's the highest it's been since 2018. You may think that this should discourage people from buying houses and that prices may go down soon, but the demand remains high as people borrow money from parents instead or relatives rather than just from the bank. And prices may remain high as long as supply is low and demand is high. Look, houses are a great asset to have, and that's why buyers today are making the smart decision to buy one, and large numbers of these buyers are millennials, make up 43% of homeowners in 2022, and according to a report by the National Association of Realtors, who I pay a pretty penny to, young adults who've stayed with their families for the last two years are using their savings to buy a house. From the same statistics, the second largest demographic is baby boomers making up nearly 29% of it. They're trying to look for bigger places to live. So what's happening is that we have millennials and we have baby boomers trying to outcompete each other to get a house. And again, with the current lack of supply, this just keeps demand high, causing the prices to remain high. And guess who's winning the battle? Baby boomers are currently winning this battle as they have more money at their disposal. And they know with the lack of houses, they can sell what they have for a hefty price and buy a bigger one. They're bringing more money to the table as well, but it doesn't mean that millennials don't have a chance. More people are qualified for a loan. A study from LendingTree showed that 60% of mortgages are offered to millennials in Denver, Seattle, Boston. Aside from their parents, banks and loans give millennials a fighting chance in this market. Before I tell you the last one, if you like this type of content, go ahead and apply a little bit of liberal pressure on that like and subscribe button. Let me and the YouTube algorithm know that this video is valuable to you. I promise to bring you more content at least a few times a week, so make sure you turn on that notification bell as well. So since demand will mostly remain high, it will take a while for the supply to recover. It may take some time before the housing market goes down. Like I always say on this channel, don't wait. It's always a great time to invest in a house and we're still in a good spot to buy or sell home. According to an article by Mike Mayer of Forbes, there are several factors before the prices will go down. These are new construction of homes, new technology to decrease production costs, cities altering their zoning laws to accommodate growing populations and baby boomers aging out of their home. With that being said, that may take a while before we get to have a significant price decrease. What's not gonna take a while is if you like and subscribe. If you enjoyed this content, and while you're still here, why not check out our video, Buy or Wait? Should I invest in real estate right now? See you on the next video.